If you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD every Tuesday, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. How to use frame around text in AutoCAD? Should you use attributes? Should you use dynamic blocks? Should you use M liters or multi liters? Or maybe you just should use normal text with a rectangle around. Stay tuned because we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using any of these methods. Remember to watch till the end where I'll show you how you can download any of these AutoCAD items. So let's start with a simple text with a rectangle around it. So as you can see if I change the text length of this item you'll have to stretch the rectangle also individually and do you imagine to use this on all of these room names that would be a lot of work so the option one of normal text and a simple rectangle doesn't really help us to work faster in AutoCAD so let's continue with the second method for this example we have a multi-liter so the first advantage of using a multi-liter to have a box around a text in AutoCAD is that if you edit this text you can see that the you can see that the frame or box stretch automatically adjusting to fit the text another advantage of using multi-liter as a box around a text in AutoCAD is that it has a mask so you can hide any object behind it as you are seeing it right now now this would be another advantage where you have this point where you can easily move it without using the move command but one of the disadvantages of using multi-liter would be the snaps options as you can see if we use the move command we cannot get the midpoint or any of the other snaps settings as you can see the endpoint midpoint are activated but even though they are on you cannot snap to it and this is one of the disadvantages of using multi leaders as a way to have a frame around your text now let's see how to remove the frame around this multi leader text if we use the explode command by typing X and pressing enter you can see that now the multi leader is just a regular M text or multi line text so it doesn't keep the property of the frame around this text let's use the burst command this time and as you can see it shows zero objects this means the burst command doesn't work on the multi leader so that's one of the disadvantages of using multi of using multi leader so let's continue with the third option which is a block reference using a attribute on it so as you can see this is a block reference as you can see 
So let's move this attribute block a little bit up. And one of the disadvantages that we're going to have with this attribute block is that you will manually have to adjust or stretch the frame for your text. We can easily achieve this by adding a stretch grip to this dynamic block. In the other hand, a advantage of using a dynamic block to place box around text in AutoCAD is that it has a mask so you can hide objects behind it. Now let's test how the snaps options work with this dynamic block. Let me draw a leader really quick by using the LE shortcut and pressing enter. And if we use the move command by typing M and enter, you can see that all of the snap options are working nicely this time. So that's one of the advantages of using a dynamic block. So let's test how to remove a box around a text in AutoCAD for this dynamic block. So if we use the explode command by typing X and pressing enter, you can see that this dynamic block doesn't retain or maintain its content. So let's go back with control C and let's use this time the burst command. So as you can see, now the content of this attribute block it's showing and also you get a normal rectangle around it. So let's go with the next option. Using a normal M text or multi-line text to show a frame around this text. As you can see, this doesn't have a mask here but we can easily add it to it so double click on it on this M text select using control A and click on your ribbon mask check here and let's try one for now and use draw background color and as you can see oops let me expand the frame by selecting all and change the mask to 1.5 and press OK. As you can see, the frame is showing correctly this time and now this M text has also a mask around it. So this is simply an M text with a text frame option to yes so if you change it to no you can easily remove the frame around the M text. Let's test now the snaps options. If we use the M command you can see that none of the snap settings work. If we open our snap options you can see that even though the endpoint, midpoint and so on are turned on it doesn't work with this M text and frame. So that's really a disadvantage. Now let's test how to remove the frame around this object. So let's use burst command first. Oops, the burst command we can see that doesn't work. So if we use the explode command by typing X and pressing enter, you can see that now we separated the frame from this text. In the other hand, an advantage of using M text to use frame around text in AutoCAD is that if you edit this text, the frame will stretch automatically 
to accommodate for this specific text, we can also change the justify options to middle so the next time you change your text it will space out equally to the right as well as to the left. So the last test is how fast we can change the content of any of these text we frame in AutoCAD. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video so far, can you smash the like button? Alright, let's finish this up. So to start with this last one, which is the M text, let's quickly copy some of these over here. And if we select one and right click on our mouse, we can select select similar. Once all of our M text with frame are selected, let's see if we can change the content. So I'm going to use my quick property palette to change. You can use your property palette too. And if we select this, you can see that it only jumped straight to change only one of the M text. So let's test the other one. In this case, let's test this attribute block. So let me copy some of these over here. Again, the same steps. Select one, right click on your mouse and select similar. Let's see here on the properties palette. We can change here. Let's say it's a different height, 9 feet 10. And oops and awesome you can see that it actually changed all of the content of this dynamic block let's say it's not an ACT ceiling instead a Jeep ceiling so let's change it to Jeep awesome all of the text in this box or frame were changed that's pretty interesting so let's get rid of this and try now the multi-liter so let me move it here and copy some some of this over here now again the same procedure select similar let's go down here under content Oops, we cannot select. Let's click over here. Hmm, it sent us to the first multiliter. So let me see what happened if I change here to Jeep. Oops. Hmm, interesting. It jumped straight to the next multiliter automatically. And if you keep going, changing or editing your text. Finally, let me test the last one, which is a normal text with a frame or rectangle around. So let me move it and copy it over here really quick. So let's select one of these and right click on your mouse, select similar. Hmm, we don't have any content to change on our quick properties so let's select only the text this time as you can see the content is right here and yeah we can change the content let's change it oh nice so we can change multiple text at once let's do it one more time let's select this text right click on your mouse and select similar let's change the content to Jeep this time let's say for instance 9 feet 1 nice it changed all of the content or text 
automatically. Now we only have to fix, of course, the rectangle by using the stretch command if we use this method. So did I forget to add any advantages or disadvantages for any of these four tags? You can help me in the comments. To me, it depends what are you using it for. I like to have flexibility, so I'll pick two of these tags for different situations. A block tag with attribute for finishes because I know they can change a lot. And for ceiling heights, I'll use a multi-liter. But what about you? Which tag would you use after knowing their pros and cons? I'll read you in the comments. And this is how you save time in AutoCAD. Remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video. I'll see you here next week.